I'm a family physician by training, and I spent a lot of my time in clinical practice, taking care of people of all ages. Really excited about the COVID-19 vaccine that is now available for children who are between ages five and 11. And I look forward to answering questions that parents might have about this uh, vaccine. As a mom, I want to do the best to keep my kids safe and health, healthy. But I admit, even though the COVID-19 vaccine is now available for children ages 5 through 11, I've been hearing some concerns from my friends and family when it comes to getting the kids vaccinated. I um, just wanted to see if we could get some more information to help myself and others make a more informed decision. So if children don't frequently get sick from COVID-19, why do they need to be vaccinated? While COVID-19 tends to be milder in children compared with adults, it can actually make children very sick and cause children to be hospitalized. In some situations, the complications from infection can actually lead to death. Although children are at a lower risk of becoming severely ill with COVID-19 compared with adults, children can be infected with a virus. They can get very sick from it. They can have both short and long-term health complications, and they can also spread the virus to, to others. More importantly, children with underlying medical conditions are at a risk for severe illness from COVID-19 compared with children without underlying medical conditions. Also, children who get infected with a virus that causes COVID-19 can also develop serious complications like multisystemic inflammatory syndrome, which is a condition where different parts of the body become inflamed and get damaged, which includes the heart, the lungs, which can make breathing really hard, uh, brain, which can cause lack of consciousness, as well as uh, can affect our GI tracts as well. Can you talk a little bit about the um, studies that have been done or those that are currently underway? The U.S. Food and Drug Administration authorized the emergency use of the Pfizer vaccine for the prevention of COVID-19 to include children 5 through 11 years of age. The authorization was based on the FDA's thorough and transparent evaluation of the data that included input from independent committee experts who overwhelmingly voted in favor of making the vaccine available to children in this age group. The key points that they were looking at when they were looking at these studies are effectiveness and safety. Immune responses of children five through 11 years of age were comparable to those of individuals 16 through 25 years of age. In addition, the vaccine was found to be 90% effective in preventing COVID-19 in children five through 11. As far as safety is concerned, the vaccine safety was studied in approximately 3,000 children who received the vaccine and no serious side effects have been detected in the ongoing study. And then the million dollar question, what are the side effects that are possible in children? Children may have some side effects, which are normal signs that their body is actually building protection. On the arm where your child gets the shot, there may be a little bit of pain, there may be some redness, there may be some swelling. And this is not uncommon. We see it a lot, even when kids get shots like the flu shot. And throughout the rest of their body, they may get tiredness headaches, muscle pain, chills, fevers, or nausea. But this is, like I said, nothing to worry about because their body is building the protection. The side effects may affect your child's ability to do daily activities, but they should go away in a few days. Some people have no side effects at all, and some may have severe allergic reactions, but these are rare. If your child experiences a severe allergic reaction after getting a COVID-19 vaccine, vaccine providers can rapidly provide care and call for emergency medical services if needed. And are there any children that should not get the COVID-19 vaccine? If your child has had an allergic reaction in the past to another vaccine or injectable therapy, or if your child has an underlying medical condition, you should check with your child's pediatrician or family doctor to make sure that uh, they are eligible for getting the COVID-19 vaccine. This has been so helpful, Dr. Titch. My kids' health is my top priority, so I'll be sure to share all of this information with my family and friends. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today.